scientists report that a massive dormant supervolcano beneath 500,000 people in Italy may be reawakening and approaching a critical stage. Campi Fligri is a volcano in the metropolitan area of Naples, one of the most densely populated areas, and where accelerating deformation and heating are currently being observed. According to a team of scientists, led by Giovanni Ciodani of the Italian National Institute of Geophysics in Rome. Their findings are based on physical measurements and computer modeling. Campi Fligre has 24 craters and an extensive network of volcanic structures, most of them submerged in the Mediterranean Sea. The volcano last erupted some 200,000 years ago, before the existing caldera was even formed. Experts from the University of Chicago confirmed the occurrence of nuclear winter in research published in 2010. It is estimated that more than 37 trillion liters of molten rock ascended to the surface during the eruption. Due to the ash's ability to obscure sunlight for years, releasing a tremendous quantity of sulfuric acid into the atmosphere, these events are the closest thing we have to the potential consequences of a major meteorite impact, as indicated at the time by Giuseppe De Natale of the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. The scientists warn that an imminent release of heated magmatic gases could cause a major explosion. However, it is currently impossible to determine when any potential eruption would occur. The Italian government has upgraded the volcano's threat classification from green to yellow, meaning it is no longer considered quiet and now requires scientific monitoring in light of the new information. That is, the government is advocating a slow and methodical reaction to the study, followed by more research. Its name, Campi Fligri, translates to fire fields in Italian. The Fligrian fields is another name for the volcanic area. It is not a singular volcanic peak like Yellowstone's parent supervolcano, which is what causes the park's geothermal activity. Instead, it is a complex with 24 craters, geysers, and vents that can spew hot gas, most of which is beneath or under the Mediterranean Sea. Supervolcanoes are distinguished by the presence of a massive caldera, or depression, the result of previous catastrophic eruptions. The Campi Fligri Depression is over seven miles across and is located to the west of Naples. It's estimated that Campi Fligre originated some 100,000 years ago. Around 200,000 years ago, the world was plunged into a volcanic winter after an enormous eruption spewed so much ash into the atmosphere. It is believed that this volcanic eruption was the greatest in Europe during that time period. While it is near the Campi Fligri like Vesuvius, the area it occupies is not typical for a volcano. However, the image shows that it is dispersed and riddled with holes. Furthermore, Vesuvius has been showing symptoms of increased activity and pressure, as has been mentioned. Both its landmass and its water body in the Mediterranean are clearly displayed in the roundabout. Volcanologists at the National Institute of Geophysics led by Giovanni Ciodani, had warned that the volcano's pressure was about to hit a tipping point in their study up until recently. Maybe nothing will happen. They differ from more conventional volcanoes in that the magma chamber underneath them is dispersed across a wider area and does not form a discernible core cone. The indicators on the various boilers reveal this though. To the tune of 500,000 individuals, its potential impact is clear. There were two further eruptions of the volcano, 35,000 and 12,000 years ago. Research published in 2010 claimed an eruption around 40,000 years ago may have led to the extinction of the Neanderthals, although this report has been challenged. The Greeks were well familiar with the volcanic region. In 1538, the supervolcano experienced a minor but still large eruption. For eight days, the mountain of Monte Nuovo was formed by that catastrophe. However, ever since then, the volcano has lain dormant for over 500 years. Researchers warn that it's possible nothing will change over our lifetimes. 
People claim that pinpointing exactly when an eruption will occur is impossible. It has been suggested that additional research and monitoring are required. Recent excavations in the Sesia Valley in the Italian Alps have uncovered the crater outlines of a previous supervolcano. Likely the last time this eight-mile-wide crater erupted was 280 million years ago, when it spewed roughly a thousand times as much material as Mount Street Helens did during its infamous 1980 eruption. Because of the sun being obscured, temperatures around the world dropped. A number of things have happened in Campi Fligri over the past 10 years, show that the rate at which gases are being forced to the surface is growing. In 2012, the Italian government switched the alert level from green to yellow. This means that, once at ease, one can start keeping tabs on things. Do those living in those areas need to leave? No. Ceodini says we need to wait and observe how things go and the boiler acts. It would be foolish, though, to try to predict when it will erupt. Yes, there is currently evidence of unreported activities. With the potential consequences of the eruption in mind, it's important to be ready for anything. Geologist James Quick from Southern Methodist University in Texas said in a statement that there will be another supervolcano explosion after the discovery of the volcano. There is still much to look forward to. I'm crossing my fingers that the headlines stop at the observation that things have been busier than usual in recent years. The extent of the potential catastrophe is, at best, speculative, based on the statements of specialists who have examined its impacts in the past.